So, you okay, Brian? Okay. So, guys, again, let's kind of look at this. So, we're looking at an area, and looks like we have the area from one to five, right? And that whole area is 12. And then we also know from four to five, that area is 3.6. And then what is it they're asking us the area for? They're asking us for this area, right? So can we kind of think of something, like maybe a way to kind of represent this that would find that shaded area? We basically just need to take the area of the large like figure and then subtract this little sliver, and that's going to give us that, correct? Yeah. OK, well, it's close enough for that. So we need to be able to say, well, how can we then subtract an area? Because isn't this area, pot, or at least I'm representing it as a positive area, but I need to subtract it. So again, there's a couple different ways we could, oh, I erased it. A couple different ways we could subtract that. Now again, I'm going to want to take this 2 on the outside of that. But I wrote, let's see, which one did I use? OK, so I represented this 4 to 1 as 2 from the integral of 5 to 1 f of x dx plus 4 to 5 f of x dx. Now see if you guys are OK with the way that I represent that. Forget about the 2. Throw the 2 on the outside for a second. Let's look at that. Does that represent taking the larger area, subtracting the smaller area? Yeah. Does it? Because basically what I'm doing is I'm reading that smaller area in the opposite direction. Right? So since you're going from the object, and that's really representing the negative value of that. Could you have also just done this, 4 to 5, and then make it negative? Yeah, sure. Right? I mean, that's the same, really the same thing. So then what I have here is 12 minus, or plus a negative, 3.6. And then I get 2 times uh, 8.4. And then multiply by 2 is going to be 16.8. Questions on that? No questions. 